the world of colors. I'm Colors. Today we're going to be making a bride and groom gnome. They're over here. They're called Little Dumpling and Honey Bunches. That's their nicknames for each other. And this is what they look like. They have a light, lit up backdrop, heart backdrop, and they're pretty small, really cute. Let's see if I can show you how the back looks. This is how they're done up. Little LED lights in the heart. And today we're going to be making the bride and little dumpling. We're going to make a little dumpling today. And then on my next video, I'm going to be making the groom honey bunches. And the display will be in the second part two video of this. Today we'll be making the bride, the little bride. So I'll be back in a moment to tell you the supplies that we're going to be using to make her. Well, what we're going to use today to make her is these jewel border stickers from the Dollar Tree. You could get those in white too if you wanted to. I kind of hemmed and hawed if I wanted to do them in white or gold. And then you're going to need some polyester fiber fill, some flat marbles, we're going to be using these glitter, sequin glitter uh, basket skirts that uh, they're just the the uh, netting, put the tool put around some elastic. And that's what I'm going to be using to make her today. And I've got it in pink and purple, very pale. And if you can't find the basket uh, skirt made up like this, which I know they have it on Amazon, uh, you have to search through there and see if you can find what you want to use for that. But if you don't want to use that, um, they do have the this also on Amazon, the six inch tool, sequin glitter tool. Um, in the exact colors and the exact size you would just want to double it up as you're using it on there so that's what we're going to be using we're going to be using some gypsophilia baby's breath in pink and white and some larkspur in purple and then the socks that we're going to be using to make her are the they call these the full cushion quarter socks. They don't go all, all the way up. They're just quarter socks. And we're going to be using those, two of those, from the Dollar Tree. The flowers are from the Dollar Tree. And then the six inch rollers, so we're going to be using two of those. Those are from the Dollar Tree. And these little, uh, jewel gemstone stickers uh we'll just be using one of those little stickers and that's a important little detail and then we'll be using some fur whatever color you want to pick uh for her hair her back of her hair is going to be four inches by five inches and then her ponytails will be two and a half by five so you'll need two of those. And then we'll be using this ribbon I've got at Dollar Tree that says bride and groom. It's in the, the wedding section at Dollar Tree. And the paper ribbon that I like to use all the time that I got at Amazon uh, in the purple and the white. When you order this from Amazon, you can get it. At the time I got it, you could get like 12 colors in a package. And I've been using it for a long time. You're going to use three 6 by 6 pieces of pink felt for the nose and hands. And two 6 and a half by 6 and a half pieces of white felt for the veil. And then also we'll be using some blush to blush out the nose and a little firm holding hairspray and your glue gun and your glue sticks and your scissors and you should be all set 
rubber bands. We'll be using rubber bands. You should be all set. So I'll be right back with you to get started. So what we're gonna do first is make the six inch body. And you wanna take out the, the socks, the quarter socks, and we're going to put one on top of each other like that and take our six inch roller and use that to measure because we're going to want uh, a little more little on the end there than the roller and we're going to cut and it's not going to leave us a whole lot left to make the body so we're going to cut right across there so that'll be the arms our two pieces for the arms and this will be the body. We'll just need one of them. I'm not going to double it up. And we're going to put our flat marbles in the bottom. And then fill it up to six inches to a six inch body with your polyester fiber fill. So I'll get going on mine and I'll be right back with you. So I got the body made to six inches. It doesn't seem very big. It's she just uh, not a very big uh, gnome. And then is what I want to do is make the nose, which is the same as the hands. So we make all three of them the same way. So I'm going to make the nose right now. So you want to use your three six by six inch pieces of pink felt, and then just. Um, get out some polyester fiber fill about the size of the nose and she's got a good size nose you put that in the middle of your felt and push it up with your thumb and then just wrap it with your rubber band And then you just take your scissors and cut off the extra. Not too short because it'll pop on you. Like that. And I'm going to glue the nose right on. And, while, and I'm going to let it set up. And then I'm going to make the hands the same way that I just made the nose. And I'll be right back with you. So the nose is on, I've made the hands just like I made the nose. The hands are a little smaller. And then is what I wanna do is take and put the glitter tool around the body. I'm gonna start in the back and just wrap it around the stub area. We're going to go around twice. Like that. And then I'll go ahead and cut it along the back. Like that. And then we're just going to glue it up here on the stub. Make sure it's the right, it's right down there to the tabletop. And then we'll just glue it. Very carefully. Tack it, tack it down in places. Lost my blue gun. Okay. So that gives us four layers of the tool because this is two ply. 
So just keep that in mind if you're using the tool off the roll like this, that you'd want four layers to go around her of that. So let me tack this up a little bit more here. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and make the arms. Let that set up a little bit. We're going to make the arms and we're going to wrap the arms in the tool. Got the hands made here. So we just want to take our six inch rollers, have those standing by, and we take some polyester fiber fill. Put a little bit in here. And then you wanna tunnel down through the middle of the polyester fiber fill. And put your roller in there. And then attach it at the end with a rubber band. This is the end that'll be glued to the body. And then this is the end that we'll glue the hand to. I'm pushing that roller a little bit farther down in there so we have room to glue the hand. I'm going to trim this up a little bit. So we'll take one of the hands and put some glue on there. Glue that right in place there. I'll put some glue around and glue the white cuff to the hand as well. So that sets up a little bit. Just put the glue on the white cuff on the inside. Hold that down, let that set up, and I'll be right back with you. So I'm in the middle of finishing up the arms here. I've got the one all finished up, the hand all glued on and everything, and this one as well. But I wanted to shorten them up a little bit, so I trimmed this one up a little bit. Where they're going to be glued on, I wanted to shorten it up a little bit. So I trimmed the roller a little bit there. I'm going to do it on this one. Like that. These are scissors I use for crafts. I, I keep the gold ones over here for to cut the fabrics. So that's how I do that. So what we want to do is go ahead and wrap the ribbon around her wrist before we put the sequin netting around 
her arms. We'll go ahead and put this on, it'll be a lot easier. So we'll just, we just wanna cover up the rubber band. So we'll just start it in the back. Put a little touch of glue on there. work it just like that. And then after we get that part part around her wrist, we're going to take the some more of the same skirting that I use for her body and we're going to put around the arm put the seam in the back it's just one one time you just go around one time like that see there's not a lot of measuring with this you just kind of Cut what you need as you go. Just like that. And you just want to glue it there at the top. I'm going to tack that down a little bit more and uh, let it set up and I'll be right back with so you. I went ahead and finished the second arm and I have just enough of what was that on enough of the skirting left to the pale pink to do the train piece on the back of her dress. So I'm going to kind of get it bunched it up here and I'm going to put it on the back of her dress. I'm going to hold that in the glue and let that set up for just a minute and then we're going to come back and put the arms on. Be right with you. So what we need to do now that we have the train glued on, that's how it looks, is we're going to glue on the arms. And I'm going to glue them on like that. And I've got them in the bent position. I'm going to glue them on right on top of the top of the veil, which is on top of the little stub. And then we're going to glue our arms on like that. And get some more glue and put our glue on right there and put that about halfway across on the back and we'll let that set up and then I'm going to glue on the other arm and then I'll be right back with you. I just wanted to, I've get, got the arms glued on but I just wanted to tell you that we need to tack down this arm a little bit this left arm and uh, just go ahead and drop some glue in there and hold that arm down this arm is going to be holding the flowers but this arm we needed to have have to tack that down a little bit so I'm going to let that set up and we'll be right back to make the ponytails and put the hair on we're going to make the ponytails next and then put on the back hair. So you want to use your two, two and a half inch by five inch pieces of fur. And 
things. What we want to do is go ahead and, and make them into ponytails by running a bead of glue about a quarter of an inch in. And then just turning that up. And then do it again. Do it a third time. Like that. Let that set up. Take a rubber band and go down from the top down like that. I think we leave about an inch out. Like that. sticker for a round rubber band on this. You want to glue that on at the, at the end because it will keep coming up on you. A little glue on there. I will put a little bit of firm hold hairspray on those and comb them down. And that's how you make the ponytail. I'm going to make the other one and I'll be right back. We've got both the ponytail hold, uh, ponytails done. And is what we want to do next is get the back hair ready to go on. So you want to use your four by five inch piece of fur for the back of her body. And I don't like the raw edge to be out. So what I do is just kind of take some glue along the edge, about a quarter of an inch in, and then just fold these in. on both sides. I'll let my clips help me today. These are great little pink clips that you can get at Dollar Tree. Six for a dollar. I think I probably have 30 or 40 of them. And uh, you can use them for so many different things when you're making the gnomes. So we'll let that set up if, while we're putting the ponytails on. So the ponytails are ready. And so what we want to do is glue them on like that. You can look at the finished little dumpling down there. And she's going to have her ponytails be about right there. So I'm going to put some glue on the back here.
put that one on and let it set up and then I'm going to glue the other one on and let it set up and I'll be back with you to put the back hair on. So we're ready to put the back hair on. I forgot to do the blush on the nose so I want to do that real quick. This is blush I got at the Dollar Tree. That'll be good. And then you take your hair for your back and you just want to gather it up and we're going to glue it on like that. We're just going to gather it right on there like that. We want it all to fit underneath the veil that we're about to make. I'm going to let that set up for a minute. And then when we come back, we're going to make the veil. So I'll see you in a minute. The next thing we're going to do is make her veil. So you want to take the two six and a half inch pieces of white felt and get those ready. And we're just going to do our normal uh, Christmas tree hat. So you can fold this in half at the top and find your center. And just dot it lightly. Like that. And we want to start at the corners and cut towards that dot. There we go. So then is what we want to do is glue up the sides. going about a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to let this set up good and I'll be right back with you. So it should be good and set up now. So I'm going to turn it inside out. But the good thing is we don't have to turn it all the way inside out. We're not going to worry about that point coming out. Leave it down there like that. So it's we got a point on the inside that we're not going to worry about. We're just going to leave that flat like that, as you can see on her. So then we want to take and trim these extra little pieces on the seams. Like that. And then we want to glue it on the front and the back. Put the seams to the side and glue it on the front and the back. And I'm gonna, I am gonna put a little polyester fiber fill on there.
So then we'll glue her to the front and the back. We're going to have stuff glued on here. So, my glue gun here. Put some glue on the back of the nose. And glue that on. I'm going to let that set up a little bit. glue off my fingers. I'm going to use this piece of jewel border around the front of the hat. I could probably sneak that on while that's setting up. And then I gotta cut. I have to cut a veil, piece of tool for the veil, like that. What do I have here? A piece of plastic. Okay. Oh, as soon as I glue it in the back, I'll put this piece of veil on there. I'm going to put this little white bow on the front. This is made with that paper ribbon I showed you at the beginning simple little bow. And turn it around. Get her hat right in the center over here. And glue that down. these two pieces on. So we're just going to put this all together here and put that right at the top of the veil. Like that. And I put this little bow right at the top. You can see it from the front and the back. And 
And then what we use these for, these jet little gemstone stickers, we just need one. Get one out of there and put it on her hand, her left hand for her diamond ring. Where did it go? We will glue that. There's her diamond ring on her hand. And then I had cut out, here it is, the word bride out of this bride and groom ribbon that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put that on her hand. You have to look in the wedding section for that. like that and then as far as the bouquet goes you take your baby's breath and your larkspur and you just want to pull off a couple pink baby's breath and a white baby's breath and a purple larkspur and that's what we're going to use for her bouquet and then you just want to take your masking tape and tape them together to get the little bouquet like that. And we'll take the bouquet and glue it right under her arm here. Just put some glue underneath her arm, push it far enough in that you don't see any masking tape, and let that set up. And I'll be right back with you. So here we have little Dumplin'. She's all finished. This is what she looks like. It didn't take a lot to make her. And uh, next video we'll be making honey bunches and the heart and base to put them on. So in the little little thing of flowers I have down here, we'll get it all put together on our next video. So thank you for coming and joining us today. If you like this video, make sure to like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.